Okay, uh, welcome to Willow, guys. Welcome. We're on times eight difficulty. We're by ourselves. We don't use sanity pills. And of course, we have an open mic at all times, which means everything you can hear, the ghost can hear too. We're here to investigate uh, Doris Holmes. We need to uh, get them to stop them hunting sorry with a crucifix we need to detect them with a motion sensor we also need to repel them with a smudge while they're chasing dear old ghost guy i like that joke by the way figured out why i was sick i was incredibly hungry now that i've eaten i think i'm starting to feel better well that's good the sleep is probably a factor as well wench oh look we've got the sunrise weather do you think do you think we'll ever get like a full-blown day a day uh weather setting for phasma I mean, we're nearly there with this. This is pretty lit, isn't it? Do you think we'll ever get a, a full-blown, beautiful summer's day? Basically, on the right room at the furthest back of the house, you can get on top of the bed by moving around the bottom of the right, and if you stay in the middle of the bed, you will not be killed. Oh, well, I won't be doing that. I won't be doing that. I don't like glitches. It's like when we had the glitches in Bleasdale and stuff. Um, where you just couldn't be killed if you stood in a certain point in the attic. I don't do stuff like that, or like under the stairs in the school. I just find it, um, it sort of takes the fun away a bit for me if there's no danger. So yeah, I, um, I, to answer your question, really, I, no, I don't. Can you imagine seasonal weather and localized weather? That would be pretty sick, actually. I would love that. Or even moon phases. I don't think they do the moon phases, but I love the idea of seasonal weather or even localized weather. That would be really cool. Create an Antarctic base camp map. Oh my god, KPI, that's a great idea for a map. That's actually a really good idea for a map because it's like um, John Carpenter's The Thing. That's, that's a really good idea for a map. I'd love to see a lunar eclipse or a blood moon. I mean, that would be really cool. Yeah, imagine being stuck on an Arctic research base, like in the thing, but for Phasma. Bro, what? Can you not already? So... You mean, if I do this, the ghost can't kill me? That is lame, man. That's lame. I can't be doing that. It's another Revenant. I mean, it could be. Hello? Hello? Is it downstairs? This is a bit of an odd ghost. Oh! Oh! Right, I see. The picture got thrown off the wall. So you are here. So the parabolic mic was correct to begin with. Apparently so, Fuawa. Um, I, I didn't know that. Um, I will not be using that on stream. Because, um, well, it's a bit of a cheat, isn't it? Let's be honest. Apologies, got a bit of a tickly throat there. Clearly, I've been talking too much. Over to you. No, I'm joking. Uh, right, let's get set up. I remember when I first started watching you, I was so scared of Willow's basement. I mean, it is quite scary, the Willow basement. Hydrate, I should, shouldn't I? I should. A delicious cold can would set me right. Okay, let's put this here. Put this here. Everyone was doing it. Oh, good. Why, though? Like, that's so... Pip, we were talking about this on a stream, I think, last week. Because the Phasma devs have basically said they're cracking down on cheaters. And I'm just like, do people cheat in this game? Like, why? There's, there's no competitive aspect of Phasma whatsoever. I don't understand why anyone would cheat. It's such a casual game. I mean that in a good way, by the way. I'm not, like weird about a game being casual but yeah it's so it's so casual and laid back i don't know why anyone would want to cheat it seems bizarre to me
Where are you? How old are you? What do you want? That's fine. I'll put that down. I am going to get a uh, thermometer and the last crucifix as well. Hello, Shannon. Better late than never. Absolutely. Good to see you. How are you doing? Why would people cheer on a game that isn't meant to be competitive? I don't know. I don't know. It just seems strange to me. It's like when people... Um, like, there's some people who have been, like, upset about the levels being reset and the money being reset and stuff in Phasma when they do their progression update. And I'm just like, like, who cares? The levels literally don't mean anything in this game. I can't, I couldn't even tell you what level I am. It doesn't influence any gameplay. It's pointless. I'm glad they're changing it. Like, give it an actual reason to exist. But yeah, each to their own, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing hydrate, little Kai. Oh, I see. Levels for bragging. Is it really bragging, though? Because it was to level up 100 XP, and if you put it on times whatever, you're going to level up like 10 times just for getting a ghost right. It's not exactly a brag, is it? If you had to, like, grind, like, five maps to level up once or something... I can understand a bit more, but because leveling is so easy, it's like, it's not really a brag, is it? I think you're in the 2600s. Oh, am I? Okay. Like, honestly, it it's mad. Like, when you see, when I get, like, a ghost right and, like, I do the bonus objectives and stuff, you see, like, how much I get in terms of... Um, what am I doing? I meant, I meant to get the thermometer, didn't I? You see how much I get in terms of XP? The money I can see arguing about? Again, I don't think it really matters. There's only so much you can spend in one run. If you could buy unlimited equipment... If you could buy unlimited equipment, I would... Oh, no, I must have taken it in. Oh, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, If you could buy unlimited equipment when you went in, I could understand a bit more, because... Like, you could take in 50 smudge sticks. Do you know what I mean? Like, you could you could actually break the game. But because every, every item is hard capped, I just don't really see why... Like, whether you've got 10,000 or 100 million, it doesn't affect anything. Like, it, it has no impact on gameplay whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think, honestly, in, in this day and age where every game wants to be competitive and be an eSport and all of this other nonsense, um, Phasmo being just a fun game that isn't trying to be something it's not or force it, it's quite refreshing. I love that Phasmo is just a fun game, and that's totally cool. It's like when I see all these, like, Phasmo tournaments and stuff, and I'm like, sure, I guess you could try and, like, force a competitive mode, I guess. But there's so much RNG involved. There's just so much RNG involved. Like, how do you balance it? The only way you could balance a competition in Phasmo is, um... I'm confused. So what? The ghost isn't in the garage now? The only way you could balance a Phasmo competition is one map with the same ghost every time for all the streamers or all the people taking part. Only then, if you could set it to be completely consistent, same spawn location, same levels of aggression... That's the only way you could make it truly fair. Uh, if you did anything other than that, then the RNG is just going to completely mess it up. And it'll be completely unbalanced. Oh, no. Don't mean to do that. Hmm. I don't know what this ghost is doing. This is a very, very weird ghost, by the way. Um, I don't really know where it is. It keeps moving. Um, we're not really getting anything consistent at the moment. 
Some person could get a shade, someone could get a demon. Who'd win? Most likely the demon. Yeah, because you'd walk in. The ghost would be going absolutely nuts. Probably hunting you early and you're like, oh, cool, it's a demon. And then they leave. And they've got the ghost right. And they'll probably get like a... Because I've, I've been invited to a few Phasmo tournaments now. I've turned down every single one. But I've, I've been invited to a few Phasmo tournaments now. And it's always like you get a speed bonus. Like all of them do that. But I'm like, but how's that fair? Because if I if I walk in and get a ghost in a lobby of the level and the ghost is hyper aggressive, gives me all the evidence I need immediately, then I'm winning that. And it's not fair on the other person. And vice versa. Ghost keeps changing rooms. Yeah, seems so. It's really annoying. I'm going to go sit in the van. I'm going to set up this um, camera and then I'm going to set it up and go and check it out. Yeah, because this ghost is kind of annoying me. It's it's not fingies, though, so that's something. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so it's strange, Um, but people keep trying to make it happen. I don't mind, like, the idea of a tournament is kind of cool, I guess, but you have to be able to have uh, a level playing field, and if you can't have a level playing field, then I don't think it's possible. Like I said, I've been invited to a few now, and they always have very similar rules. It's always like you get X amount of points for getting the ghost right. You get X amount of points for not dying. You get X amount of points for like different brackets for how fast you do it. Imagine I, you know, I'm doing, oh, there's orbs top of the screen, top of the screen. We do have the right room. Well, it's not a shade. Interesting. You're not a shade. So what are you? What if it's a tie And it's getting less and less active. Ah, that could be it. Uh, there's no fingerprint, so it's not an Obaki. Um, we've checked a few times now. Randomize what the ghost can do. What, for a, a competition? Yeah, but that... Follow, sausage. Uh, Opterius. That's a cool name. Welcome in, friend. No, but for a competition, you need it to be equal playing field, right? It has to be by by definition. It's the only it's the only way you can judge it fairly. Mimic still possible? Yes, yes, mimic is absolutely possible. Nice to be here. It's lovely to have you, my friend. Knowing the movements of the ghost do make it work. Would make it work. Yeah, but you would still have if one. Let's say it was the final. And you've got me versus, uh, I'm just going to say uh, Ash Kapal, because he's one of my mods. He's here somewhere. Um, yeah, exactly, Tiske. I think it would need to be the developers. Let's say it was me versus Ash in the final. And it's complete RNG, uh, all randomized. And I get Tanglewood with a demon in the hallway that hunts immediately. And I managed to get to safety in the bedroom. There's a bedroom closet. And I'm like, well, shit, that's a demon. And I test, there's no orbs. And I go, right, it's a demon. And I solve it in two minutes because of that luck. I got lucky with the type of ghost and the position. And then on Ash's one, Ash gets sent to, I don't know, prison. And he gets a cafeteria shade. You see why it wouldn't be a fair contest. It would have to be identical for both parties. It just has to be. I was like, you can't judge it. I'd vote for Ashka's demon. It's just a hypothetical. It's just a hypothetical. Uh, if the ghost stuff isn't the same, like Mimic... Oh, okay. Mimic has EMF5 instead. What, you would change the evidence? But then it's not really Phasma anymore, is it? Uh, where are you? Are you friendly? Okay, I do not like the sound of you. 
You, my friend, are not a friendly sausage. Can still be a mimic? Yes, it can. We need to aggressively check for fingerprints and freezing now. Well, we know it's freezing. It's not freezing, sorry. I guess it would have to be a best of five or something which balances out the luck, at least in the long run. Again, like... Sure, like hypothetically, Gagel. Let's say you got unlucky three times and lucky two times in terms of like the settings, the type of ghost and the map. But then it, you could just see it devolving into arguments. You could, because it would be like, let's say someone loses to someone else and they're like, well, this is bullshit because the other person got an easier ghost than me, an easier map than me, something like that. The only way it works is if the developers host a tournament with static settings for each round. And obviously they compete at the same time on stream so that they can't cheat. They can't watch each other. That's the only way, I think. Have you found any use for the sound stations apart from being used as decorations in the van? Uh, yeah, they are useful, actually. Um, on very large maps, if you are struggling to... If you're struggling to find a ghost, but you, you think it's kind of in an area, but you're not sure, it's useful for that. Uh, Evil Twin, hello. Can you play this in VR? I'm going to. Um, I'm currently on a diet. I've lost 23 and a half kilos since the end of July last year. Once I have reached 26 kilos lost, yes, I am going to be doing a VR Phasmo stream. And I'm going to be doing other VR content as well, because I really want to do that. Um, Mayor, Yokai, or Onryo? Hmm. Now, we're going to take some candles in. We're going to do an Onryo test. I don't think it's a Yokai, because I have been talking out a lot. I've been talking a lot, and the ghost has literally not reacted. Oh my god, that's why it's so passive. The lights are on. It's a Mayor. It's a mare. That's why it's gone passive. It's not actually passive. The lights are on. Okay. The raiders! The raiders are coming! Magic Pumpkin Pie, hello! Welcome. Thank you for the raid, my friend. What were you up to? What were you streaming? Quick Yoko test. Ash Kapow, ask... Yeah, ask Ghost Guy a deep question. Thanks, Quicksilver. It still hurts. Welcome in, raiders. What have you been up to? What have you been doing? Uh, mare or... Mm, yeah, I, th I think it's a mare. I think it's a mare. We're, we're still gonna... We're gonna test anyway. Hello, we're doing some solo Phasmo. Oh, nice. Two or three ghosts? Not too bad. Nice, nice. Oh, sorry. Two out of three ghosts. Is that what it is? Oh, very, very nice. Very nice indeed. That explains the initial aggression. It, it's gotta... It's gotta be a mare. Yeah, it's got to be a mare. Surely. Surely. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Crumbs. Oh, nice. What uh, what difficulty are we playing on? I just got PSVR and started playing Resident Evil 7. Got it for £100 cheap. Oh, very nice. They're bringing out a new PSVR, aren't they? Soon. Oh, this has got to be a mare. Yeah, I'm convinced now. I, I, I'm almost at the point where I just want to click. I just want to click mare. And leave. Like, I feel like it is. It's that passive. Like, the light has completely destroyed this ghost's will to live. Wait. How can you kill that which has no life? Oh. Oh. I'm not going to pay 550. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You need to make a shirt that just says, Ah, oh, crumbs. True. Someone's been watching their South Park. Absolutely. I love that episode. It's one of the best episodes of South Park. It's so meta. Intermediate, I usually play in a group, but I'm trying solo. Yeah, solo's where it's at. Okay, it's not touched. It's not touched the... It's not touched any of the candles. I don't think it's an Onryo, but I'm pretty sure it's a mare. I'm going to turn the lights off. Let's see what happens. Hey, Ouija. How's it going? Good to see you. I hope you're well. And it's okay for a bit, Rue. Do, 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 do. How are you doing, Ouija? What have you been up to? Cannot play all day. Yeah, I think everyone's got their limit with VR, right? 
Is it still here? Hang on. Where are you? S still in the room. Now he's throwing objects at me. Now he's blowing out candles. It's a mare, man. It has to be a mare. It's got to be a mare. Right, I turned it off. It's just thrown a hammer. Thanks it, for the follow, sausage. It's got to be, dudes. Hope I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, you don't like it, do you? You don't like it, sausage. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You're not happy, are you? Solo is where the horror... Haha, you suck. <laughs> so as soon as we start turning the lights off, it starts throwing objects, it starts blowing out candles, it starts hunting. What's the name of the overlay? Uh, if you searched for uh, Phasmo Overlay by Glitched Mythos, um, unlike some other streamers, I actually credit him. Um, he made the, uh, the widget. And um, one of our esteemed moderators uh, fixed the code because the code wasn't working for a while. The code wasn't working. Uh, so yeah, if you look for look for that, that's what it's called. Uh, if you're not a streamer though, it honestly is not worth it. Um, it's only useful if you're a streamer. Um, it it doesn't automatically track or anything like that. My moderators and I have to update it. <laughs> uh, I really hate playing. Uh, Phasmo alone. Uh, so it's hard. I keep dying. I keep losing my stuff. Oh, no. I can only do 15 minutes on VR only because it makes me motion sick. Yeah, Moss is the same. Check for fingerprints just to be safe. What do you mean? Why am I searching for thing? Oh, because of Mimic. I see. I see. Sorry. For a second, I was confused. I was like, wait, what? Oh, what am I doing? Dropping the wrong thing here. Okay, I'm just putting those everywhere. I just want to see if you're going to hunt. Oh, now remember, we are currently being hunted by this ghost. A mare has a much lower sanity threshold um, in the light. So in the dark, it hunts at 60%, I think. And when you've got the lights on, it hunts at 40%. So, this should be a mare. Because all of a sudden, it's gone back to being passive. It's gone back to being passive. I think I think this is a mare, guys. Think about what, what happened when we turned the lights off. We had objects being thrown, events, hunts. We turned the lights back on. It's, it's like a shade. Oh, it's got to be. You can blow my lighter out all you want. Yeah, you can still do it. It doesn't matter. Don't bother me. Can I mimic, hypothetically mimic the same ghost twice consecutively? Yes, it can. Um, It just, it just picks random ghosts it wants to mimic. There's no, like, set pattern to it. They can mimic anything, and they can change what goes they're mimicking every 30 seconds. They don't have to change every 30 seconds, uh, but it is something to bear in mind. That just because it's a shade one minute doesn't mean it can't turn into a, um, a demon the next, or a revenant or something. You've been a little bit aggressive with the candles now. I don't think you're too bothered about the candles, though, are you? What I think you are bothered by is this. Oh, and look, he's throwing items. As soon as we turned the lights off, he starts throwing stuff again. 
This is like a proper good example of mayor behavior. If this is not a mayor, I'm calling shenanigans. It's got to be. It's got to be. Oh, spooky. Yeah, you're doing events and everything. Doing everything. If this is not a mayor, the streak stays. Yeah, this has to be a mayor. This is like the most textbook mayor I think I've ever come across in this game. Something that's literally doing nothing. Something that's literally doing nothing uh, when the lights are on. How's it not burned the crucifix yet? Because it's a mayor. So as soon as I turn that light on, unless my sanity is below 40%, he can't hunt. If he's a mayor. Assuming he's a mayor. The car counts as an interaction. Uh, yes. Technically, it's uh, this is a bad picture. I think technically you need to take a picture of like the front here. Are you looking for a poltergeist? No, I'm pretty sure this is a mayor. I'm just demonstrating the... Um, Oh, no, never mind. I'll get a picture of that. <gasps> oh, see, look at that. Light goes off, two events. Tell me that's not a mare. Tell me that's not a mare. <laughs> Should we see if we can get it to do the... Oh, again, I turned it... Oh, my God. <gasps> Come on. Do the special mad light switch thing. It doesn't always do it. Okay, me turning the lights on and off is really annoying, that ghost. He's really annoying, that ghost. It hates you. It really does. It knows that I know what it is. So, obviously, we have been hunted, but since we've been having the lights on again, we've not even been attempted to be hunted again. Unless it's an Onrio. What's the mare light switch trick? So, what mares do like to do... Um, it's not a super consistent behaviour. But it is one that happens. Um, is mares really like... To... Turn the switch off immediately when you turn it on. So sometimes what you can do in the ghost room, I can see the lights flickering out in the hallway though, it's out there. What you can do is you can turn the switch on and off, kind of slow, like I'm doing. And if the, um, huh. and if the ghost immediately turns the light off, it, it's like 99% chance it's a mare. It's only doing candles one by one as well. It's not really going for them. Okay, I might just leave the lights off now. I want to see if it hunts uh, under a under a candle. As soon as I turn it off, it's thrown another hammer. This may be the best example of a mare we've ever seen. But knowing my luck, it won't be a mare. It's definitely not a yokai, that's for sure. Okay. In fact, I can... Um, let me just get rid of these dots, because they're kind of in the way. I want us to be able to see. Right. He's running around. Give me a sign. We can't rule out Umrio. That's what I'm trying to do now. I'm I'm trying to get it to hunt under a lit candle. So if it takes a chump out of a crucifix under a lit candle, it's not an Umrio. Oh, you swine. Oh, ho, ho, now you've destroyed the lights. Okay, meh. Oh, are you kidding me?
It's just a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? That as soon as the lights go off, it hunted. <laughs> no? Hello, Megan. How are you? Right. Here we go. Okay, yep, you can blow it. Sausage. It's going well, thanks, Megan. There's some very strange ghost behaviours tonight, but say la vie. I will say, though, it's not chewed a crucifix yet, which is slightly concerning. We can't actually eliminate an Omrio just yet. I'm really, really trying to eliminate an Omrio, but um, it's not happening at the moment. are coming thank you big nelly sorry i was being quiet because of the hump thank you for the uh thank you for the raid my friend how are you hmm yeah 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 please try and hunt on this crucifix please please how you doing man what are you streaming what are you up to Hope you're having a lovely Wednesday evening, my friend. Come on, ghosty. Now, Omrios do have this unique interaction with three candles, which is why I put them there. I wanted to see if we got it. If you're not aware, if you put three lit candles next to each other, they can blow them all out, one after the other, very, very quickly. So, like, bang, bang, bang. Um, no other ghost can do it quite that quick. And then they usually hunt as soon as they've done it, which is pretty cool. What's the Omrio's evidence? Um, they don't like fire. Uh, in terms of... Okay. I mean, in evidence, um, I can't remember all three of them, but orbs, spirit box, and something else. Yeah, it's definitely changed room into the kitchen here. Um, okay, hang on. No, no, no! Oh, you swine! Right, we're gonna we're gonna pivot. That's fine. We can have the safety smudge. Um, right, what we're we gonna do? Because he likes being out here now. We are going to have a slight change in strategy here. How you doing, Big Nelly? What are you up to, man? I'm going here. I'm going to put a lit candle on you. I think this may end up being an Omrio, but the behavior is, like, dreadful. Like, the behavior is actually really, really bad. It, like, because it's behaving like a mare. But I'm noticing it is not touching these crucifixes under a lit candle at all so i've got a sneaking suspicion we may actually end up having an omria just finished some genshin now it's time for tea and phasma you had a good night yeah it's been good man it's been good i find it ironic the mayors would like to be in the dark but this one chooses to move to the dining room instead of staying the yeah see this is what i don't understand why is it not trying to hunt in the garage which is its room 
Very odd. See, on the surface, I, I want to say mare and just go for it, you know? But I don't think it wants me to. Okay. Okay. Oh, now you're being aggressive with the flames. This has been the most mare experience. I agree. It was super passive with the lights on, like insanely passive with, with the lights on. Come on. Thanks for the follow, sausage. Uh, a, ro a rookie cookie. Oh, I like your name. Uh, thank you for the follow, friend. Oh my God, are you actually an Onrio? Stop it. Are you actually an Onrio? Trust your gut. Just trust your gut. Go with it. Trust your gut. It's never wrong. Ever. Okay, this is actually ridiculous if this ends up being it. This has been the most marest mare I've seen for such a long time. This might actually be an Onrio. Thanks for the follow, sausage. There's no way it's an Onrio. Have you seen it touch one of those crucifixes yet? Oh, man. It could be. Yeah, there's definitely no fingies. Yeah, look, there's no thing. It's not a mimic. It's not a mimic. Oh, my God. You're going to be a bloody Omrio, aren't you? Been looking for a while, so not seeing any of this round, but every mare I've had for months always does the insta light switch off for me. Yeah, and it's not done that, and I did test it for a while. Shit. Will Volk, thank you for the follow, by the way. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. It has not nommed a crucifix at all when the crucifix is under a candle. It just won't do it. It's only blowing out the candles. Oh my god, are you an Omrio? This is wild if this is an Omrio. This is the most marest mare I've ever seen. If this is an Omrio? Shit. Hi. Listen, they don't call me a super spy for nothing. They don't call me a super spy for nothing, guys. I cannot tell what this ghost is. I cannot tell what this ghost is. My my heart is saying mare because of the very consistent mare behavior. But it has not touched these crucifixes even once under a candle. Not once.
She's signing from the other side of the living room. She is. She's all over the place, this ghost. It's weird because it's not blowing out the candles very often, but by the same token, it's not touching the crucifix. It has not once touched a crucifix under a lit candle. Not once. And it's been hunting quite a bit now. I would expect it to be hunting under these lit candles. And it has not. Not a single time. God, do we have an Omrio on our hands here? But it's just like a really rubbish Omrio. Okay, you're blowing out candles. Shit. Okay, you are throwing things at me. You're back in here now. He's fleeing from the candles. He's fleeing from the candles, I'm telling you. This ghost is fairly annoying. Yeah, you said it. I'd say it's a glitchy mare only because of how fast it reacted to the lights being turned off. It really was like a hot and cold tap, wasn't it? It really did just get super aggressive as soon as those lights went off. And yet, and yet, there is a massive doubt in my mind. A colossal doubt in my mind. You are trying to get rid of the flames now. What time is it? It is 10 o'clock in the evening. God. This ghost. <gasps> no! Oh, I can't pick it up. I'm going for Omrio. I'm going for Omrio. Blew out the candles and then oh, hunted. Friends. My color blindness fights me again. I couldn't see the reticle on the floor. I tell you what, I tell you what, chat, <laughs> let's go put that street counter up, yes, what was that behaviour? What, honestly, what was that behaviour? Did you see that? That was the merest mare that ever did mare in the maring world. But it was an Onrio. I'm glad we persisted. That was some of the most consistent mare gameplay I've ever seen. But always investigate and trust your gut. Trust your gut. I didn't know you were colorblind. Uh, I am Deuteronomy, or whatever it's called. But basically, the reticle in Phasmo, uh, when I'm looking at the floor and trying to pick stuff up, I struggle to see where the reticle is. And so what I'll be doing is I'll be mashing E, pointing my screen at where I think I'm pointing, but I'm actually not. That's why I can, ne I can never pick up smudges and that uh, in a panic, because I can't see what I'm doing, generally. So, we were killed by colour blindness, but we got the ghost correct. Well done, everyone. Well done. I don't think it's a colour blind thing. I think it's a pain to see in certain situations. Really? Oh, it is a pain. It is a pain. Gosh, that was that was intense, wasn't it? That was intense.
natural difficulty modifier. Yeah, I'm actually on times nine because of my colorblindness. 